Welcome back to Kids Fun Science. My name is Ken, and today's experiment is convection currents, hot air rises, and cold air sinks. As always, adult supervision is required. What you'll need for this experiment is a container, a small bottle, and food coloring. The container is filled with room temperature water that I left overnight. I used blue colored ice cubes to represent cold air and red hot water to represent warm air. You could already see the blue ice cube immediately starts to sink to the bottom. When I put in the red hot water, it should maintain to the top of the surface. We'll be able to see here with this demonstration that the red warm water rises and stays to the top where the cold blue ice cubes will sink to the bottom. This is the same the way the air works. Hot air rises and cold air sinks. Convection currents happen within the earth magna, water, and air. It can happen to anything that's not solid and has parts that are cooler or warmer than the other parts. A classic example of convection current would that be of warm air rising towards the ceiling of a house. That's why it's always hotter upstairs. This happens because the warm air is less dense than the colder air. Wind is another example of convection current. Wind is caused by sunlight that heats air, causing it to displace cooler air. Convention currents are also in the ocean. Ocean currents are caused by differences in the water density and the temperature in different parts of the ocean. You can see on the bottom we have the blue cool water, on the top we have the red hot water, and in the middle the white is the room temperature water. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to click thumbs up below and also to subscribe. Thanks for watching.